Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're talking about how to fix a error with Microsoft Teams, which is going to be the installation has failed error. So guys, before you do anything else, uh, you just need to basically, firstly, uh, disable our notorious for causing trouble and problems and issues uh, Windows Defender. So for that, you just um, open up your start menu, open up the Defender, and let us uh, temporarily, not um, permanently, disable the Defender. All right, guys. So in Windows, in Windows Security, you just go to Virus and Threat Protection. You go to Manage Settings, and you turn off the real-time protection. And also, just in case, just turn on every, uh, turn off everything else. And now, guys, after that, you just want to, of course, uh, uninstall uh, the leftover files if you have any from the Microsoft Teams installer. So for this, I recommend using this amazing application, uh, which is called Everything. And you just type in Teams, all right, or MS Teams, all right. And as you can see, guys, we have this little folder in here under our Program Files and Windows Apps. So you just want to go here and you want to erase all of this stuff. OK, so just uh, just delete this. All right. Continue. So just make sure to delete all of these files. So these files are probably not deleting because my app is installed. So for you, it should be good. OK, guys. <clears throat> and also the next fix is going to be going to a specific path on your computer, which is going to be uh, C drive uses your username app data local and then packages and in here just find your uh, teams folder for me it's missing because I don't have the app installed but if you also want you can just type in teams in the search and the windows will find the necessary files for you so as you can see no items found because my apps is not installed once again but when you find it let's for example choose uh, some random folder uh, let us choose for example photos in here guys you just go to local cache uh, and basically delete the cache, okay? So as you can see, my cache is missing here, but if you have any cache in here, just be sure to, to delete the cache, all right, inside of this folder. And this might also fix the issue, erase the temporary files, and actually allow you to pro uh, properly uh, install the app. Okay, and the other thing, guys, you can try is open up your services. You just uh, search for it in the uh, start menu, then you scroll all the way down, and you look for, just make sure to sort, sort it by name, and you find Windows Installer. All right, as you can see, this one. So if, for example, it's not running, just press on Start Service. Uh, and yeah, basically the service is responsible for installing apps, as you can see, adds, modifies, and removes applications. So this is what you need, so make sure it's running. Okay, guys, and the last fix I will show you is basically a last resort fix, uh, it, which is going to be restoring your system from a system restore. So for that, guys, uh, you can either use a control panel or once again, start menu and search for uh, recovery and then just uh, press on open system restore. And I hope you did uh, create some kind of restore point before. So as you can see, I have mine created the latest one uh, at 30th of July. So I can use this. So basically uh, just uh, use recommended restore or you can just uh, choose a, a different restore point if you created one uh, by yourself, which is manually, then just press next and then just press on finish. And after this, uh, your system will basically be restored to a state before you tried installing MS Teams and hopefully this will fix you. So guys, enjoy. If this helps, press like on the video, subscribe and leave a comment if you need further help. Thank you for watching.